Hello everyone, my name is Ian Valera and welcome to episode 22 of City Skylines Let's Design and in this one we're gonna create a new district over here in this area in this part of the town uh, this district is going to be all around uh, trailer homes like you know these mobile homes uh, so we're gonna over here you see I zoned a new district and we're gonna set the theme for American trailer homes you see and as always you can find all the useful links in the description so if you're interested in, in this theme you can go into the description and follow the link so yeah American trailer homes this uh, small houses yeah again it's not gonna be a big district um, but yeah we're gonna have rows of these trailers and like a couple of shops and like a supermarket for them so not a big district but I can promise you that we gotta make it cute yeah and we also uh, with the help of this new district we're going to connect our European district with the you see the rail yard industrial yard something that is over there and yeah so we're gonna connect it there and we're also going to expand um, our European district a little bit a little bit later and <laughs> yes a little bit uh, yeah we can create a big nice park so please stay tuned for that but you see we already got a connection to that industrial yard thing over there and it is a little bit risky I maybe because you see yeah my idea is that it would be great to connect all the districts that we have but also uh, you see we have these highways and because we connect the districts, maybe people won't use the highways, but we want them to use highways. So, I don't know, maybe we'll have problems with traffic, that's, that's what I'm going to say, I want to say, but... Yeah, let's hope for the best. <laughs> uh, but you see, we got a big, huge highway, like over there, with highway roads, and we also have this small th thing that we can call a highway, like you see on the right, like these two one-way roads. It works like a highway, but it's not really a highway. Uh, so, because of that, we gotta make connections to them, but with the help of one-way roads. So, you see, I'm using in one direction, the other direction. So, this way, it's kind of like a roundabout, but not really. Like a square roundabout. And so, yeah, we got connections over here. And we're gonna have some problems here with traffic. So, um, later, I will like, upgrade these roads to three-lane ones, but... Anyway, uh, and uh, we also have this uh, railroad going from European district to, to over, here, over here. And yeah, I thought I thought that I might have to demolish it and like because it's kind of like <laughs> it, it just kind of like stands on our way. But nope, nope. We just gonna integrate everything, and yeah, we gotta make everything work together. Uh, over here, we're gonna zone some more commercial and some more offices and some residential. <laughs> uh, yeah, because we want to surround our like we like we have a castle there. We're gonna have a park over there, and so we want to surround it with some buildings. But anyway, here we're just trying to create a nice <laughs> road layout uh, because I don't want to make like a simple grid because you know a simple grid is good, but yeah, just just to make things more interesting, <laughs> I was trying to create a more interesting layout. So hopefully, that mission was a success. Uh, and yeah, let's just cover it up a little bit <laughs> in the best traditions of SimCity <laughs> road layouts. And yeah, we gotta we gotta have a lot of like this small two lane roads with trees because here over he, over here we that's the place where we gotta have these trailer homes these mobile homes and there are gonna be lots of them like rows and rows of these homes so that's where we gotta have a lot of roads and we will also create like a small playground and like a small elementary school and a medical clinic and a supermarket like a small neighborhood with like all the basic needs and yeah because yeah it's it, I guess it's not the place for the the ones for the richest ones but they gotta have all the necessary stuff so that's good and yeah so we got this like a 
main road you see the one that has no trees and yeah this one kind of like breaks the grid and so right next to this main road we kind of have some parking lots and a school and a medical clinic and uh, over here I was just trying to create some nice uh, curves again and yeah so uh, here I thought that it is a good idea to put a supermarket uh, yeah just so people could find all, all the needs uh, yeah <laughs> but of course it took me some time to find it because you see we have I have so much stuff as the time goes it's like episode 22 and we have so much stuff and but yeah we gotta have these trailers all over the place and uh, yeah 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 and also brownstone townhouses later in the European district yeah and we also I also got some nice stones yeah so stay tuned for that <laughs> and yeah and we also gotta surround our rail railroad with some tree lights i mean that's my favorite part but anyway so we see we got this uh saturn saturn <laughs> i guess that's how it's called saturn uh supermarket and lots of um parking lots right next to it because it makes the perfect sense doesn't it and here is where we zone our low density residential. Never have I ever done this before, by the way. Like, never have I ever used this trailer homes uh, uh, theme, uh, district theme before. So that was my first time. So at first I thought, like, let's just zone everything and see how things look, how the things look like, and what what are the best solutions. Like, maybe we should only zone, like, you know two squares not everything so yeah I was just checking on that and I noticed that it doesn't really matter <laughs> the way how we notice so uh, the way we zone it's just yeah everything looks okay and you see we got these trailers here and I think they look really nice yeah <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah here I used the different technique I zoned like three by three the squares and in the middle we kind of have like a dirt pedestrian path and we kind of surround it with some bushes just so we can have like this nice lane in between the trailer home these trailer homes yep and here another thing just to <laughs> just not to create a basic grid but also like to have an, an interesting layout we got these roads and then i draw a pedestrian a pavement pedestrian path and um, yeah <laughs> In this, like, in this 45 degrees angle and um, so next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this area with some concrete because you see we got some like like a main road over here like a supermarket with um, parking lots so I thought let's just fill this with uh, pavement just to get this feeling like of like this um, like you know it's not like a part for living it's just like a part for, of town for commercial and for city services i don't know so here we got some tree lines that separate our uh, railroad bridge from our homes and we put a bunch of trees here and there in this and in, in this empty spots over here uh yeah <laughs> some t taller trees and some smaller trees and here what i was talking about a pedestrian path in the middle and uh, lots of bushes right next to it uh, <laughs> again just to make things look more interesting <laughs> um, and I hope you like this and so but we, we don't I don't think we're gonna zone uh, yeah you see I I checked if because we, we have this district and we set the theme for American trailer homes so because of that because we have this theme uh, American trailer homes uh, commercial is not gonna uh, grow here so I was checking on that. So I don't think we're gonna zone uh, these uh, trailer homes right next to the main road. Nope. Instead, I put this playground. I mean, just to, just so this community has everything that people need. Like, we got a clinic and uh, um, elementary school and a supermarket and like some, some parks. Yeah, just some basic stuff. And. Yeah, so let's surround our supermarket with some greenery again. Uh, gotta ha we gotta have that. <laughs> Get just some nice little parks and nice little touches. And here, just trees here and there. 
uh, yeah, I use this technique like put uh, put the, by putting trees in a group in groups. So yeah, and uh, put these tree lines. And we also yeah, you see, I got this grass, really nice grass, and I put it under these bridges. <laughs> Again, some nice little touches. And let's now let's decorate our uh, roundabout. I put this interestingly looking <laughs> bush or thing or I guess it's a tree I don't know and then surrounded with some bushes some small round bushes and then I thought like we have this empty space uh, you see in between our district and highway and the highway so I thought why not to put some more roads and why not to zone a little bit more but you see again I don't zone right next to the main road just because we have this this trailer homes that are really small and I don't want to yeah you know you know and now we surround our railroads with lots of trees just because we don't want easy we, we want sort of to separate our district from the railroads and I guess that's how they do in real life yeah and we don't want people to you know get over there and get hurt <laughs> by yeah <laughs> we don't want people to have access to our railroads uh, so yeah yeah and I thought that we need to have some commercial over here because we have the supermarket but uh, it doesn't really work as a supermarket it's just it's just a unique building and decoration and so I what I did is I removed part of the uh, part of this zone district of the district and zoning and now we gotta have some commercial over there and here I put some nice uh, uh, trees of different shades of green <laughs> and yeah and because I didn't want to uh, zone right next to the main road over there I put just a bunch of trees and a bunch of trees over here and over there and everywhere <laughs> so yeah yeah now we just fill the district and let's just take a look a brief look at what we got here you see I think I think this looks great don't you think uh, just this nice little district and we created it really fast but uh, yeah I think we haven't forgotten about the details and you see we look at this small commercial buildings I mean I just love them <laughs> they're just the best and now let's move forward and let's work over here in our European district in the episode 19 we got this beautifully looking castle and it's kind of like on the hill it's not a mountain but it's kind of like on the hill and yeah that's what they do in the European cities it's like the castle that is kind of like on the hill on the mountain and the castle overlooks the city this way it, here it's not really like that it doesn't overlook the city but it's on the hill and <laughs> it overlooks the train station that we got here there but okay um here we, d we have this not really pretty situation with the hill so at first i thought that we can fill it all with uh pavement but then it didn't really really work out so instead we're gonna have these uh, pine trees these fir trees uh, pine trees i don't know and um I, you see they have these different sizes when you put them you can put a huge they, they can be huge or they can be small so yeah I was trying to only use the small trees pine trees because yeah the big ones they would just get all get on our roads but anyway so uh, I use this pre-built park I'm sure if you play the game you know this park but I felt like why not I've already used this in the city but why not we have a nice fountain in in the middle of this park and like some nice paths that have these interesting shapes and benches and trees around them so why not why not <laughs> uh, so yeah and we also gotta have this fir trees and pine trees I don't know what are they called I guess fir trees um, here and there and you see rocks that's what i was talking about this really nice looking rocks <laughs> i just love them I, i've already used them in the previous episode but i, I don't know i just can't get over this <laughs> so uh 
so yeah and this way we create this like mountainous feeling because we have this castle that is on the hill and yeah and now we have these rocks and yeah <laughs> I guess we can ha we can say that we have this mountainous feeling, I don't know. And then we got three connections to this new park, like on the left, on the right, and uh, over there following, uh, I mean, right next to the castle. And yeah, we got a fir tree and a couple of bushes here and there, and the tree lines around. And we see everything get connected and everything is beautiful. And we, we even have this, <laughs> I even put this really tall pine tree over here and then some cypresses just to make everything look like fancier, I guess. <laughs> because it seems it's a castle, I mean, yeah, a castle for the rich ones. <laughs> mm, yeah, uh, but I don't think anyone lives there, but anyway, <laughs> like the royal family, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, we feel this areas with trees but we don't want to have too many trees just because we don't it's it's a park not a forest so yeah sometimes just yeah little tip for you just sometimes it's better to stop <laughs> putting trees because sometimes it can be too much and then you can barely see anything that is under these trees and you this way you created yourself a forest we don't want to have a forest here uh, so we got this park but I felt like we don't have an. We have this free spot over here. I mean, again, between the district and this highway thing. Not really highway, but avenue highway thing. So I felt like let's f have more buildings over here and let's have some more residential dwellings. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> residential buildings. Um, so this way we create another road over here because we have enough space and because we have this park over there and I felt like it's not enough to have just a row a row of a, a one row of buildings like you see we just had this one row of buildings and then some free spot though so let's fill it with some more uh, European looking buildings and of course we're gonna have some tree trees over here and over there so we put again this interesting looking bush and then surround it with some smaller ones yeah just to make everything look more interesting and yeah don't forget to use trees of different types and yeah we got another we got some other nice looking buildings and yeah we expanded our European district so good job us now let's get back to this uh, um, American trailer homes district theme. That's how it's called, I guess. Um, so we create more roads. Again, uh, we don't create just a grid. Though I, I have, I don't have anything against a simple grid, but you know. You know, we can have a more interesting one the shapes. We can have more interesting shapes and we create these roads and use the curved roads. And here we're gonna have uh, some more uh, this of these mobile homes. We can have some more trailers uh, over there. And you see, talking about free spot, you see we have this industrial area over here and we have this free spot in between the district and the highway. So yeah i felt like let's zone a little bit more even though we don't really have a demand for industrial zoning uh, but still still let's just zone and in the future when we will have industrial demand you know buildings are gonna pop up there and this way we're gonna you know we're only gonna have this free space over here and yeah but still we don't want to put buildings really close to the highway so I create this um, uh, like this area in between that I fill with trees of course and so you see we get, we have this right yeah you see we replace this like a squarish roundabout thing we replace roads with the three lane ones because we get some problems with traffic but I feel like everything is good now, so let's just continue building over here. Uh, 
again we continue creating this building so again we're gonna have homes right next to the railroad but don't worry we got some uh, tree lines that separate our dwellings with railroad so it's all good and so we see you see we have these rather tall buildings in the European district and then the trailer homes that I mean the smallest homes you can ever have the smallest houses <laughs> so I feel like it is important to have a, to have a smooth um, like yeah to have a not just to you know you have a small building and right next a really tall one uh, so this way I put like an elementary school in the fire station you see on the left the right way zone and this way it kind of like we have this, this um, how do you say it? like a um, smooth smooth transition that's the word I was looking for transition the transition between the area with tall buildings and the area with small ones so we got a nice transition over there and now we create some more uh, paths and then fill everything and with trailers and zone this low residential yeah we can have lots of this but um, we I don't think we're gonna have uh, any more uh, trailers anywhere in the part of the town? I mean, we have we got this district with trailers, and I feel like that's it. Yeah, we don't need any more. And you see, we got this brownstone townhouses. I mean, this building over here, this one that inspired me to call this episode trailers and uh, brownstones because this is a really nice building. And you see, we got, I got a, a big rock over there, and then we surround it with. Uh, trees and over here in this in between this square we found about I got like <laughs> I put some trees uh, fir trees or like pine pine trees and I'm, I'm not sure again this tree lines and we got a really cute nice detailed area over here <laughs> uh, so that's what I love the most over here but anyway now we zone a little bit more but again we we're not gonna zone to the main roads we're not gonna zone to this avenue slash highway Mm, because I don't feel like it is appropriate. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, instead, we, we're gonna have a nice park here. You see, on in another part of this uh, trailer district, we got a playground, and over here we have a small park with this interestingly shaped pedestrian path. And we're gonna connect this park later. Uh, connect like with the help of paths anyway so here again zone right next to the railroad and yeah you see we got this little connections uh, yeah just so everything blends in into one another uh, so yeah really useful pedestrian paths and um, yeah I feel uh, I was telling you about the transition so uh, we got a transition over here between the European district and the trailer district and uh, You see on the right you, you can't see it here, but we also have the European district In like another part like in the the one we created in episode 20 uh, So we're gonna have a transition you see like on the left. It's it's not on the left Anyway, we can have a transition over there over there as well but anyway <laughs> Let's put a bunch of trees again here and there. And I feel like these uh, trailers don't really have tall trees. You see, they got these small trees and bushes. So I felt like we need to put some taller trees in between them. So yeah, that's what we do. But I feel like uh, that's all we're gonna have for this episode. You see, we got, we, I mean, we, I put these uh, trees in between these townhouses. But yeah, let's just take a final look at this really detailed uh, part and uh, I mean the park with the castle looks really nice and we got a new district that looks awesome I think don't you think it, it, just this rose and rose not really rose but this yeah trailer homes they look really nice and just like that we got a new district though so I hope you like it because that is it for this episode number 22 and uh, if you did like it make sure to give it a thumbs up and until next time Stay tuned and goodbye.